everyone welcome to ecoholics so far we have discussed four rules of differentiation in this video we'll be discussing subtraction rule of differentiation so so rule number 5 is subtraction rule now when y is equal to u minus v where u and v are differentiable functions of x then in this case our dy by dx is equal to du by dx minus dv by dx and this becomes a derivative so this is a subtraction rule of differentiation now let's look at few examples to understand this rule now in this case we have y is equal to 7 x raised to 7 minus 8 x raised to 8 now using the subtraction rule of differentiation so our subtraction rule states that when y is equal to u minus v dy by dx is equal to du by dx minus dv by dx so using this rule we are going to solve this example so now in this case our dy by dx will be equal to what now let's consider this as u and this as v so we have du by dx minus dv by dx so now we have u is equal to 7 x raised to 7 so now in this case du by dx will be equal to what this will be equal to 7 differentiation of x raised to 7 so now we have already seen that when y is equal to x raised to n then dy by dx becomes equal to nx raised to n minus 1 so this was a power function rule so using this we are going to differentiate u and v so in this case in this case our n is equal to 7 so we have 7 x raised to now 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 so du by dx is equal to 77s are 49 x raised to 6 similarly we are also going to calculate dv by dx so in this case our v is 8 x raised to 8 8 x raised to 8 so in this case our dv by dx is equal to Eight differentiation of x raised to eight. Using same formula, that is dy by dx is equal to n x raised to n minus one. What we get is dv by dx is equal to eight into in this case. Our n is equal to eight, so we have eight x raised to now n minus one is eight minus one that is seven. Our dv by dx is eight eight za sixty four x raised to seven. so what we get is du by dx is 49 x raised to 6 and dv by dx is 64 x raised to 7 
So, what we are going to do is, we will put those values in this. So, du by dx is 49, x raised to 6, minus 64, x raised to 7. So, this becomes a differentiation. This was an easy example. Now, let us look at another example. So, in this case, y is equal to 3 x raised to minus 9 minus 7 x raised to minus 7 minus 8 x minus 8. So, using again the subtraction rule which states that when y is equal to u minus v dy by dx is equal to du by dx minus dv by dx. So now using this subtraction rule, we are going to see what we get. So now let's see this term is our u term. This is v, this is w and this is z. So in this case, dy by dx will be equal to du by dx minus dv by dx minus dw by dx minus dz by dx. So, we are going to differentiate individual terms now or individual functions. So, now here we have u is equal to 3 x raised to minus 9. So, in this case, du by dx will be equal to 3 differentiation of x raised to minus 9. Right? So, now we have du by dx is equal to what? Now, I have already told you that when we have y is equal to x raised to n, we are going to use this formula. Power function rule. So, in this case, we have n is equal to minus 9. So now, what do we get is 3 into minus 9 x raised to minus 9 minus 1. So n is minus 9, so minus 9 minus 1. So du by dx is equal to 3 nines are 27. So minus 27 x raised to minus 10. So, we get du by dx as this term. Now, coming on to v. So, we have v is equal to 7 x raised to minus 7. So, now, again we are going to use the same formula. That is 7 differentiation of x raised to minus 7. In this case, our n is equal to minus 7. So, we have dv by dx as, so we have 7 multiplied by minus 7 x raised to minus 7 minus 1. So, n is minus 7 and here we have minus 1. So, dv by dx is equal to 7 7s are 49. So, we have minus 49 x raised to minus 8. So, we will write this term over here dy by dx 
is equal to so du by dx is minus 27 x raised to minus 10 so minus 27 x raised to minus 10 minus of now dv by dx is minus 49 x raised to minus 8 so minus 49 x raised to minus 8 minus of now um, I'll use the space. Okay. So now we have. Now we have W. Which is equal to 8x. In this case. Our dw by dx would be equal to 8 differentiation of x. So now, in this case, our n is equal to 1, this. So what do we get is, dw by dx is equal to 8 into 1 x raised to, now 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get 0 over here. dw by dx is equal to 8 into, now x raised to 0 is always 1. So now we have 1 over here. So what do we get is dw by dx is equal to 8. And now here we have 8 minus. So we have D, uh, we have differentiation of 8 now. Now, how do we calculate differentiation of 8? So, we already know that differentiation of a constant term is always 0. So, we have here 0. Now, simplifying this, what we get is dy by dx is equal to minus 27 x raised to minus 10 plus 49 x raised to minus 8 minus of 8. So, this becomes derivative. So, this was a bit complicated example. So, we can solve any example with help of uh, all these rules of differentiation. That's it for this video. In our subsequent videos, we'll be seeing other rules of differentiation as well. So do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.